my channel. So today we are in Hull and I want to show you 12 months of ownership of this Maserati Ghibli. Uh, we done just short of 10,000 miles on it as well. So I'll tell you exactly how much it costs to own this car and what you should be aware of. So follow me, I want to show you the car a little bit first. So we have a adaptive front, headlights in front. Uh, we have a 21 inch alloy wheels at the front. And also 21 inch alloy wheels at the back. And uh, on the size, so the size 285, 30, ZR21. So we have a little spoiler here at the back, very nice LED tail lights and the uh, sport uh, which represent extra uh, horsepower, extra turbo and the uh, Ferrari built engine uh, from Maserati sounds absolutely incredible. So I'm just gonna rev this up a little bit so you can hear it. One of the things that I really like about this car is uh, how it sounds. So obviously there are a lot of cars uh, on the market for this price of around 23, 24 thousand pounds that you can have, but none of them really sound just as good. And uh, with this, such a low mileage, I think it's a winner. So I'm gonna show you a little bit more of interior of this car. So we have very, very high quality interior here uh, everything you touch is very very nice and soft you have a little cubbies yeah have electric seats uh, with extra support here on the sides very very nice and comfy leather seats so these are actually very soft and very high quality leather so you have your three spoke steering wheel leather steering wheel all the adjustments for the lights are on this side and stop start yeah your frameless frameless doors so when you basically open them and close them yeah they can stay at any position that you like yeah so it's one of the very very cool features again same at the back yeah you can open them and close them at any position that you like this is actually very 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 comfy feature okay again frameless doors and you have a over 500 liter boot Yeah, plenty of things that you need for your shopping and uh, one of the things that I bought for myself is uh, massage seats uh, and also heated so unfortunately this car doesn't come with the heated seats from expenses on this car uh, within 12 months ownership I invested uh, in the rear tires so that costed me 650 pounds uh, also, I changed the spark plugs, that costed me £540 roughly at the Maserati dealership. And uh, I also done a fifth service, which is recommended, and that also done at Maserati dealership. Uh, that costed me uh, £460. So, and I also got a very, very nice courtesy car from Maserati, uh, as you can see in my previous video as well. So. Also, about three and a half thousand pounds worth of fuel uh, annually, uh, which is very expensive. Uh, just over a thousand and two hundred for insurance uh, per year, and uh, road tax uh, just around six hundred per year as well. So you can just calculate it and uh, see how much. So I think it all totals up uh, just around seven thousand pounds. Twenty-one inch alloy wheels. Uh, ride is actually quite hard yeah so and you also have your ventilated brake discs at the front and at the back so like this little thingy here yeah very very nice car Okay. 
Yeah. Hi everyone, Steve at Old Gold Garage. We've got the Maserati Ghibli in at the moment and we're just doing a 30,000 mile update. Um, as you can see, everything on this vehicle still looks great. So the, all these suspension arms at the back end, um, we'll just, they're all looking good. It doesn't seem to be like there's any play in them whatsoever. Um, even the springs, they've never been changed yet. You've got 30,000 miles out of them, still fantastic. Uh, everything is working as it should. Um, moving along to the rear, same thing again. Uh, all of the mounts, the shock absorbers, there's no leaks, there's nothing. Uh, the rear anti-roll bar still looks in great shape. All the rubbers, the mounting points, everything on the car still looks great. And we will now send the vehicle up in the air. Yeah, this is the part that can be edited out or sped up. <laughs> yeah, mate, nice. <clears throat> As we're going underneath, there's not really much to see because there's a lot of plastics. Uh, but even from the air conditioning pipes, oil pipes, radiator, everything still looks great. There's no, no corrosion, no surface corrosion going on in there. Um, all these lower, lower suspension arms, mounts, all the, the bushes going up into the arms also look great. There's no play on the back plates of the of the discs, you know, so there's no tinny noises. We'll move across over to have a look around the gearbox, make sure that's all, all good. There's no leaks from the engine, uh, from what we can see, without taking any covers off. The gearbox also looks nice and dry. Um, move a little bit further, all of these exhaust mounts are still good, they're all held up. There's no play in any of these bushes. diff, no leaks, no leaks, all these lower arms, light, light bit of surface corrosion, very very light but it's, it all depends on what it's done in its life, you know it could have been near the sea, a little bit of salt water around there, and the rest of the, the subframe, all the mountain bushes, everything still looks fantastic in there, no problems at all. All the bushes at the back all still look great. No issues at all. It's just sail through its NRT. Apart from an advisor is on the rear tires because the owner has been having some fun. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if I was gonna get one, I'd get one of these, definitely. Yeah. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment. And uh, yeah, again, uh, what I can advise you is uh, just look for a cheaper car insurance. And if you want to own one of these, uh, definitely go for a three liter twin turbo. And uh, this will make you smile 100%. Uh, around this time when it's very, very cold, uh, be careful because back end slides very, very easily. And uh, you'll end up in an accident very quickly if you're not careful. So again, thank you very much, uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again next time, thank you.